On a scale from one to Rich Homie Quan, how amazing is this Minion Easter Basket? Well, happy Easter, guys, if you celebrate Easter. If not, it is cool. I understand that everyone has their own beliefs, but do not worry. This video will still be for you. It's basically just going to be another full day of eating like I do every single week, just with a few Easter twists here, and it might be a little bit of a shorter video because I'm going to be saving all of my food for one big meal at the end, and I have a very, very special full day of eating coming to you guys next weekend, which I'm really excited for you guys to see, but it will be a little bit longer. So I figured I'd balance it out a little bit. It is Easter Sunday if you are watching this on the day that it releases. I am talking to you guys in real time right now. That'd be pretty cool. Maybe we could do that sometime. But until then, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I don't think that I've ever seen this done before, but you guys know I'm all about changing it up. So I'm warning you, this first meal is going to be extremely poverty, but if you've been following along with the channel, you know that when I have a huge feast planned out, what I will do is just eat very little throughout the day. It's kind of like damage control, just enough to hold me over so I'm not starving. And then when I finally get to that huge meal, I'll just use up all my food for the day. And if it was actually a holiday, obviously this is the week before Easter, I would not be concerned about counting macros. You guys know that, but for video purposes, I will count them today just for you guys because I love you that much. So starting out, all I'm gonna have is some mushrooms and some onions inside of an egg omelet, an egg substitute omelet, I should say. So saving up all my fats for that last meal as I usually do. And that's gonna be step number one, and I'm gonna wait until about, I don't know, probably two or three hours to eat my carbohydrate source just because I'm not all that hungry, and that'll just help me get some more food throughout the day, or at least make it feel like it. You guys know what I'm trying to say, but it is gonna be something I've never had before, so hopefully it will taste good, and I can share that with you guys then. See, poverty food doesn't have to suck. If you saw my video when I went over the history of an omelet, I really think I would make Gary Amlada proud with this one right here. I know you guys were jealous of that flip, perfection at its finest and here we have some Cholula hot sauce if you say that this is not the best hot sauce in the world you're just lying to yourself this is so cheap at Costco it's amazing it's almost worth buying the membership just for this seriously that's a pretty good omelet I figured I would share my Easter PR with you guys and funny enough it was a cardio PR you guys know I don't do too much cardio but I just sprinted downstairs faster than I have ever sprinted in my entire life. I could not find my phone and I heard the washing machine on and that is the most frightening thing ever. And it always seems to happen right when you turn the washer on, you can't find your phone and of course the first thing you think is you're washing your stupid phone. Luckily for me, we have got it in hand, my friends. So it is a few hours later, and obviously I have not done anything with myself. I need to shave off this beard. Some of you guys said that I should keep it, but here's my problem. When I used to shave my head, everyone was like, oh, you know, you look really good with a shaved head. You should just keep shaving it. So I did, and then I grew my hair out, and everyone was like, oh, you look really good with hair. You should just, just grow your hair out some more. And I was like, what, what do you expect me to believe now? So I'm, I'm convinced that you guys just tell me what I wanna hear. So I've gotta shave it off for work anyway. But what we're gonna have is some grits. No, cream of wheat, had to check the box. I've had grits before, I've never had cream of wheat. I figured I would change it up from the traditional oatmeal. I guess this is banana flavored, probably some artificial stuff going on in there. And here is what it looks like in the bowl. I'm not convinced, but I am gonna see if I can fluff it up like oatmeal. So here's what we're working with. Looks a little suspect to me. It's actually pretty good, and I don't like banana flavored things, so I don't know why I decided to pick this up, but I'll definitely eat this again. As you can see, I did go ahead and shave for you beautiful people, and believe it or not, I actually considered dressing up in some formal Easter attire, but I figured you guys didn't care that much, and I have to dress up every day for work. It's still my weekend, and this is kind of Eastery, right? I saw this in the closet, I was like, purple's Easter, I guess. 
I don't know. Anyway, we are going to get to the main meal here, but I figured before we do, I'd just share some feels with you guys, because I know you guys love that. And even, I know I said at the beginning of the video, even if you don't celebrate Easter, when you think about holidays, it's mostly, or a big part of it is just being with the people that you love. Your family, your friends, whoever cares about you. If nobody cares about you, then I apologize. This probably isn't going to be a good spiel for you. But it doesn't even have to be the same group of people year to year. Traditions change, things change as time goes on. But it's all good, guys. As long as you are with people that you care about, it kind of just makes everything whole. So I know one of my traditions growing up as a kid was making lasagna every single Easter. And to this day, when I think of Easter, I think of lasagna. And I mean, rightfully so. It is one of the best foods in the entire world. Why would you not want it for every holiday? Which we did. We had it for Easter, Christmas, Thanksgiving. And I don't even feel right making this video, not including lasagna. However, you guys know that I live alone and I didn't want to make all this food and only have it for me because then it would go bad. And I mean, I guess I could bring it into work and give it to people, but I don't think they trust my cooking. So that is my little personal story and I figured I would just end it with a question. So what is one impactful lesson that you have learned from someone that you love? It's pretty deep, huh? So if you feel like sharing, I would enjoy reading it. You guys know I have fun reading through all the comments and replying to you. I just thought that would be kind of interesting. But now that we got all that sentimental stuff over with, let's get back to some rich homie, baby. So if you couldn't tell by the lasagna, I'm not really too into like the traditional foods that everyone would eat on a holiday. Well, I am going to have some ham. I think that that's what normal people eat on Easter. But besides that, you guys are going to be like, alright, this is not even Easter food. But that's okay. So I know I said I'm not going to make lasagna, but I am still going to have some kind of a pasta dish. It just wouldn't be right if I didn't. And it's going to be... I don't know, almost like a soup, which is strange because I'm also going to be using soup in this so-called casserole, which you guys are going to love how I make that casserole. But I hate soup. I think there's a reason you eat soup when you're sick, and that's just what it reminds me of. So it's very strange that I'm going to be having two soup variations in this meal, but we will make it through. So I will walk you guys through this because this is something that you can probably make on any occasion and hopefully you guys get some use out of it. So step number one, all we're going to do is throw some olive oil in here and then just saute up some onions. And after these cook for about three minutes, what I'm going to add is one pound of rubber. And what I mean by that is some extra lean ground turkey. So while that cooks up, I'm going to start on this casserole and I use that term very, very loosely. It's going to be made using frozen green beans and this can of cream of mushroom soup. Add a little bit of ham to it. And I know that this is kind of unorthodox. Well, kind of. It's not even casserole. I know that. But like I said, I didn't want to make a whole bunch of food when it's just me. And I asked myself, and I asked myself you... if Rich Homie had to make a single serving casserole, what would he do? And this is the method that came to my head. So if you guys think it's dumb, just blame my friend Rich. We will also add some chicken broth, and I believe that is it. Oh, and two cups of water. So I guess I just gotta let this sit here and stir it up a little bit, and then after about 15 minutes, I will throw in some pasta. And this is the first time I've ever thrown uncooked pasta in anything, but that's what they say to do, so I'm gonna follow the instructions for once. And you might be wondering if I don't like soup, why did I decide to make this? Well, at the end, the recipe calls for some ricotta. And I figured if a recipe actually calls for ricotta, it's got to be great because you guys see me put ricotta in so many different things that you probably shouldn't, and it's always amazing. So I have a really good feeling about this. All I've done here is add some ricotta, some, what else did I put in there? A little bit of salt, nutmeg, and some Parmesan cheese, and then I'll just top it with that once it's finished. I really just feel like this is more of a stew than a soup. I don't know the difference, but I don't know. For whatever reason, this just seems like stew to me. So I'm taking the easy way out on the ham. This is just a pre-cooked ham that I bought at the store. And I think I'm going to actually start doing that. It was only 10 bucks for a big ham. The only downfall to this is it has a lot of salt. But other than that, the macros are pretty solid. So I might just pick some up, you know, from time to time when I need some protein sources. Very convenient. Who knows? I'm sure they have them all year round. I don't know. Is this how soup is supposed to look? Follow the instructions. 
I don't know. This is why soup sucks. I don't know what it looks like. I don't eat this stuff, but that just does not look like, ugh. There's only one way to cut ham. All right, so let me walk you through this because I'm sure you guys are like, what in the world are you doing? I had some sweet potato tots left in the freezer that I want to get rid of. That is why they are on there. I used some of this soup, but I tried not to use too much. I just was not convinced. I put some ham chunks in there, tried to make it look all pretty. Actually, hold on. There we go. All you gotta do is add bacon and then you guys will be impressed. So we got some garlic bread, which is very traditional. You should always have garlic bread at every holiday. Got another piece of ham over there. And I'm actually pretty impressed with how this came out. And I know what you guys are thinking. Yes, Travis was right this whole time. Ricotta is the most amazing food in the entire world because look how that just makes it. Oh my gosh. All right, so we're gonna have this. Probably start with the rich homie casserole and move on to everything else. And then I will let you guys know my feedback. And I got lunch for the entire week. You really can't beat this. Mass amounts of food, March Madness. Life really does not get much better. Well, so far everything has been amazing except Rich, he has some explaining to do. Well, that was some pretty good food, but you know we're gonna have to end with a little bit of dessert, and I have no idea what the traditional Easter dessert is, so by default, we're gonna make pancakes, but this is pretty festive, so I've got the fun Fetty pancakes, you know, we got all the colors in there. I should have dyed Easter eggs. Maybe next year. But until then, what I'm going to do is add a few more Eastery things, so I've got some Starburst jelly beans. It's kind of strange because I do not like jelly beans at all, but for some reason the Starburst ones are really good. We've got some Easter marshmallows, and this is an idea that I got off my friend Scott Campbell from, I messed up his channel name last time I said it. I think it's Pancakes for Power Lifts. I think last time I said Power Lifts for Pancakes. I'm going to link it below. He's got some great food on that channel, and he's always making these marshmallow pancakes, so I'm going to make them tonight, and I'm also going to make them in the video that you're going to see next weekend, which I know you guys are going to like. So the last thing here is going to be some peeps, and then I'm also going to be using some frosting for the pancakes, but you guys have seen me make this time and time again, so I don't need to run you through it. I realize I never make the same size pancakes, which really hinders the aesthetics of them, but we still have a lot to decorate here. Can't forget the topper. Okay, so that's a little better. Got a little bit more color in there, but I kind of left that center a little bit empty. It's like we're missing something. We can't have Easter without a creepy little bunny. Back to the drawing board. The things that some people will do for a thumbnail picture. All right, tell me that this is not the coolest stack of Easter pancakes that you have ever seen. And you've seen me struggle getting this to look perfect, and obviously, this is very far from perfect. I realized that had I taken a little bit more time, I could have made this a very aesthetic, maybe like something that would be in a magazine. But now, it is finally time to just eat the things. All right, you had your 15 minutes of fame. He was worth it. I just noticed I forgot the peeps. Oh well, Easter's over. So we're finally done here. I came in today at about 4,000 calories. I'll go ahead and throw the macros across the screen. A little bit higher than what I usually aim for, but it's all right, it is for a good cause. And like I said, if it was really a holiday for me, there's no way I'll be counting macros, but I am recording this one week early so you guys can have it for your viewing pleasures 
on Easter. Hopefully you guys are you know, watching this before you go meet your families. Hopefully you're not, I always want you to watch my videos, don't get me wrong. But if you're with your family, turn the video off. Well now you can obviously because it's over. But I'm just gonna shut up now because I'll start rambling on. Happy Easter, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please like it if you did. Thanks for taking the time to watch it and I'll talk to you guys next time.